This is going on Thursday, the 28th of April 2022. Before I get into it, I just want to say that I'm going to allow myself to swear for this entire video, never mind just this segment, because something that has happened in the day that I will get into when I get into it. So, I had assembly, and at the very end of the assembly, they said, Jack McKnight, can you stay behind? I haven't seen him all day since that happened. Because of the rest of the events of the day, I fear that Jack McKnight has been kicked out of school. <clears throat> but I'll, I'm not going to know until tomorrow. <sighs> I'm trying to think of what's next. In fact, yeah, I think this is part where I get into it. So the teacher for English said that and it's possible that this was accidental because of what he said later in the day but I don't know and it doesn't matter because I felt the impact of what would happen if it were confirmed anyway. Like if, if you if you make someone believe that someone that they love is dead, right? They will feel the grief that they would feel if they were actually dead. So it doesn't matter if you actually feel, oh yeah, uh, they're still alive. They will still have felt that grief. I'm not trying to compare myself to the victim of someone that has died, but I'm just trying to give you an. I'm just trying to tell you that. It's irrelevant that it's possible, well, currently it's irrelevant, it'll be relevant tomorrow, actually from tomorrow onwards. If it's not, but I'm just going to actually get into it. She said that we'll be doing The Handmaid's Tale. The problem with this is that I want to do Brave New World because, one, it's based, and two, it is, it's going to be good for the exam, because it's based. You know, if I like the thing that I'm studying, I'm going to have a better time studying it than if I weren't. <clears throat> but, despite that, I need to do Hamid's deal for a reason that I can't get into until year five. Because this is a problem that will should have started in year five. But because of this, it started today. I'm hoping it's a one-time thing. I don't want this to be the rest of the year. Because that would mean that year four ended today. <clears throat> so, I was feeling despair. And I couldn't move. I was shaking a lot. And you should have seen my handwriting for the stuff I was writing. I was expecting that when I came to lunch, I would just have to sit there the entire time. Because I just couldn't move. It. I was able to get up to the canteen and get my foot and all. Um, but after lunch... Oh, uh, I forgot to mention that the entire time there were three year 14s there the, in, the entire time. Um, but after lunch, the teacher said that what the year 14s are doing is far easier than what we're doing. Because they had, they had it easier because of coronavirus when they were year 14. Like uh, what? Um. And uh, I forget what Miss said. The trigger this year fourteen said, but a year fourteen said. No one cares about the year thirteens. So, these two things: the fact that the teacher is treating us. 
like we're year five and the actual person who is year 14 is saying that they don't care about us because we are an oppressed minority. Fuck you. I don't mean that as a teacher, I mean that to be year 14. Do you know how much shit we've had to go, go through because of your fuck ups? Because you keep on blaming us, scapegoating us for your bullshit. The reason why you're having such a hard time, you have to stay behind in her class, is because instead of sitting down and doing the work, you've been on fucking cool math games the entire year. And when you get caught out playing cool math games, you get your iPad called again, oh no, I can't do my work. If, if you had your iPad, you wouldn't be doing your work. You have never done your work. You cannot complain about having it too hard. You've had it easy your entire life. Do not ever call us irrelevant or say that you're better than us. Surely that's that's the worst it could be, Dylan. Nope. There's more. Well, it's not worse than that, but still the fact that bad things kept on happening is bad. So at the end of the lesson there was some relief because Miss said that don't do the essay that was due tomorrow. Which is good. Because I haven't started it. <clears throat> um, and I do also have annotations due tomorrow. And I probably would have finished them. If it weren't for the fact that once I opened my file. Every single page. And that's not an exaggeration. When I looked at my file it was empty. Every single page somehow came out and was spread all over the desk in the floor. And people thought that I, like, did that, that I took out my file, opened up the, the ring binder bit, and just shook it all over the desk and floor so it all fell out. So I, I quickly grabbed all the paper and the file, rushed over to learn and support, I don't know why I rushed over to learn support. I was able to. Well, I, I know why I was open to talk to the mentor about it. But I couldn't show the teacher in class. And. I just put out from Pack the Geller and took a couple of pages out that some of them didn't have. Their holes had been broken, if you know what I mean. So they weren't actually in the ring. And just like things that I didn't need anymore. All the poems are still in there though. And a couple of other things. So that was rip. This means as of 18 past 4 pm. Why do you want to report this thing? I just don't like it. Which seems beast, but. It's, it's not when, I was hoping to prank him, but he didn't provide me an opening. I was hoping they would ask me my name, because, and when I say this, people are going to go, oh, you only know about this because of Critical I made a video about him. I actually don't watch Critical. I don't have a problem with his content or anything. I just can't get into his videos for some reason. I don't know what it is. No, I've known of this guy because we learned about him once in digital technology in year 11, as in 2019. And ever since we learned about him in digital technology, because a man teamed up with the BBC at the time, the Take Down a Scam Center, I started watching his content. 
but there is a hacker who goes by Jim Browning who shuts down scan centers and he is so legendary to the point where he was shutting one down and the scammer was on the phone to him he says by any chance is your name Jim Browning? Yes. Instantly hangs up. Like the, the scammer hanged up on Jim because he is aware of Jim's legendary status. So I was hoping they would ask me my name and I could say Jim Browning because if I do that they'll hang up on me and block me instead of I am having to do with them. So I don't have a problem with showing off that phone number because clearly they're not from O2. In fact, it sounded more like someone from school somehow getting my phone number and pranking me than an actual scammer. Also, if you want proof, that's the phone number right there at the top right. And this is from O2's official website. So this guy's saying that he's been called by the same guy. And that, this was only five days ago. This guy posted this, saying he's been contacted by this guy and the same thing that they said to me. And here's someone with you know, a second solution. It's a well-known scam. So I have no problem whatsoever with showing this phone number off. Because it is not breach of privacy. It is, in fact, a warning to stay away from this phone number. If you receive a call from this phone number, do not pick up. Instead, block them. Google, this is not an evasion of privacy. Don't take down this fucking video. It is a warning of scams. Anyway, back on track because this video isn't long enough. Oh, free, free, oh, whatever. I don't like it. Feature seems like the best thing. Until it happens to you, because you posted so, uh, a photo of the Walking Dead comic, where someone said something offensive. This is the end of the Bloody Sex Pack 4. I was supposed to show this yesterday, but McCubrey liked one of my posts, and it's been a while since. Like, something like that has happened, so I... I Screenshot of it, sent it to McKnight and said, You're a fucking legend. But anyway, this is Twitter at the same time. It was fun being back on InfoWars. I asked him, He said if all the bands are left, that he'll be coming back. About to sneeze. Here's an example of what Twitter left wing, of Twitter's left wing bias. We have to take the context into consideration. Twitter's interpretation of the context is affected by the left wing bias. I would need an example of that. Elon, I just talked to Alex Jones, he said. He'll come back if you let him. What to say? One of the ring, and on your opinion, I think most people will miss an aspect of blogging, specific people on Twitter. Sorry, which is flaw block and always stop the person from messaging you, but the replies are almost a public forum. If your followers to block someone is to remove their access. Now if they deserve access to this is relative or yet to be determined, but if someone is posting that I've been it is crap and shit. <clears throat> a reply deserves to be seen with an argument that is effective in certain situations. If someone is blocked, that won't be visible in the replies. So do you feel people should be able to reply to their tweets the way they wish to engage with? I feel as a right or at least a moral code, I'd say it should just not be affected by the blocking action. Blocking and can just stop you from seeing that from that person blocked it does rather than also blocking on behalf of other people. I think checking the replies for a bottle if there is one getting a lot of likes is a pretty natural behavior for us. Internet dwellers blocking is too much part of the kneecap that bit. And separate that from the usual aspect of watching the deceased communication on your end. I need to ask again then. Does that mean people should always be allowed to give a rebuttal either as a right or a moral code? I think I'd say yes. I really have no desire to restrict anyone being able to say in the most public of ways that a specific comment, a rule, or statement is incorrect in even the slightest way. 
I mean, absolutely everyone should be allowed on Twitter so they can reply to the tweets then. Since they have a right slash moral code to do that. Everyone from Alex Jones to Trump and all the others. I'm sure majority agree with that, of which I'm included. There really are no legitimate complaints. I'm certain we can expect to see those bans return soon. It is in the air. I'm also hoping so. You can close DMs to people you don't follow. That's already a feature, so having a DM when you soft block isn't really needed since it kind of already exists. That, that is true. I I guess it's just same ideal block would be would block DMs and make it so I don't see any of their cool teas or replies. But ideally, <clears throat> they should be able to reply, and other people can see the reply and decide the block or not on their own. That's the mute function. Yeah, the mute function does that. Some people do want a full block for various reasons. Sometimes no reason, but it's still completely up to them. Unless the tweet itself is considered a platform people should be able to reply to. <laughs> Need a box an opponent heavyweight, someone with clout, serious suggestions, please. Marcus? Nah, if that's on Fosh. That'd be a boring fight, though, because. Isn't the isn't the thing that it's fun about fights is like figuring out how you just want to win. Could be wrong, but uh, the reason why I'm the reason why I'm saying this is because uh, we already know Marcus will win. Fosh is a fat bastard. Twitter DMs should have NDN encryption like Signal, so no one can spy on or hack your messages. Billionaires should spend their ill gotten gains on. One, by the way, should also uh, make, make it so that DMs can't be easily tweeted by changing the code a little bit because Carl had a situation a couple of years ago where he was DMing someone and they ended up falling out. So the guy ended up changing the code so it looked like Carl was asking for child porn. I. Uh, like the guy screenshot it. Uh this fake chat and said, Hey guys, Carl's a pedophile when really he's not. The guy just changed the code so it looks like Carl's a pedophile. Anyway. Uh, and right in things like poverty and disease instead of spending billions on a vanity project. Sack should get a job. What's a job? Like the book in the Bible? <laughs> Fuck, sorry, I literally sent as a post it. <laughs> What's your job? That's a nice deflection to avoid admitting you don't even have one. Do you want a job? I can assure you it doesn't help now. What's your job? It, is it an embarrassing one? Must be since you won't even say what it is. Right, see so over this uh, spammer mark. You seem like a bit of a prick. And it reminds me of someone who just can't think of it. Oh, you know, it reminds me of it reminds me of Seth Rogen saying, "Are you Jewish?" So please cut it right, Mark. <laughs> but yet yeah, you look, you act like a child on the internet. The poorly researched part really made me laugh, though, since you only found the channel five minutes ago and hasn't even watched any of the videos. So saying I work as an IT tech with Doxy, I'm not asking for your social security number, address, and blood type. The fact you won't say is either because you don't even have a job at all or because it's a really embarrassing job, only reasonable explanations. <laughs> well, it could be an unreasonable explanation. It's possible. Elon Musk's net worth is $264 billion, tax the rich. In 2021 alone, the US government made $4 trillion in revenue. All this solved the world, hunger, disease, poverty... 
stuff. They could have paid for it many times over. They just won't and never will. Take the hint. Another point. America's military spending in 2021 was the $801 billion. Almost a quarter of its total revenue. So it could all... It's world's police bullshit. So by advocating for more taxation and funds war machine, technically you're advocating for violence. People are seething at this, bro. You literally make YouTube videos. Yeah, it's not a real job, Mark. Like, when, when you're a politician, then, yeah, I would say, I don't know where you are. I'm, I think it is now, still, but just on a different party. So never mind. But yeah, YouTube is not a job. Anyway. Yes, I get the answer yeah, close to a million big PP clans that describe my channel of my job. Go to sleep, Marcus. 2 a.m. I'm libertarian. This time, a fucking bad time. Fucking fed. Looks like they have found the culprit. Okay, that's actually funny. I don't get the joke. Marcus, any comment on the anti protest bill the government passed? Uh, the one that means police are given extra powers of protests deemed too noisy. Jampal bullshit, they set a, t set a term that every protest will break. So now they can break up any protest. They essentially made it illegal to protest. I agree, I'm more talk about party gate because there's not even worse things that Boris Johnson has done that if you're going to kick him out, kick him out over that instead of the fact that he's a hypocrite. You, you pricks. And if these are worthless, it's pictures backed by nothing. So true. Anyway, can I trade you this picture of Andrew Jackson for four Abraham Lincolns? Right, here's what I, I, I would say. In real life, they mean nothing. Gonna take half of Chloe's candy tonight and give it to some kitty sat at home. It's never too early to teach her about socialism. Coming from Donald Trump, you know, oh, your clan teacher is evil. Why don't you grab her by the pussy and teach her about her grandfather? Now, Donald Senior, Senior said, you know, he said grab her by the pussy. He didn't actually grab her by the pussy. You pussy. Let's check in on the Democratic base. Oh no. Apparently he's in prison now for pedophilia. Pronouns in bio is always a sign. Now that's... Mm. Okay, it's a, it's a game of kind of about pedos and grimmers, but still, the fact that you're saying that unless his pedophilia, you know, unless he grabbed the pussy of a child then you have a point, but the fact you're gonna kind uh means never mind. It's ironic when you remember this stone toss high key, not low key predicted this. Justin, former journalist and self described male feminist convicted at trial for attempt at child enticement. In nature predators often camouflage themselves from prey, like the copperhead, or the trapdoor spider, and others. Hmm. And that guy that was just talking there is like the shit out of the libtards. That is the ghost of Kiev. Samuel Hyde is an American comedian. Sam Hyde is the guy that is in the photo of who is supposedly the ghost of Kiev. Never meet your heroes.
<laughs> mm. oh. <laughs>